Roblox is a platform enjoyed by millions of people, with one of the most popular parts of the platform being the games itself. As we all know, players can also build their own games, whether they are just trying to create something for fun or trying to be the next multi-millionaire developer. Building and developing games on Roblox definitely makes the platform what it's well known for. I'm sure most of you guys watching have given Roblox Studio a go at some point. It can be complicated, it can be difficult to learn, I've even made a few funny Roblox game projects over the years, even though mine were not exactly exactly the best, they were still relatively fun to create. But that brings us on to today's video. What about Roblox's infamous players? What type of games did they make before they were exposed? This is a question I've been wondering about for a while. Is there anything dark or questionable hidden inside of their innocent looking Roblox games? Well, that's what we're going to be investigating in today's video. It's going to be an interesting one. Before we get into this guys, I'd just like to say a lot of the people on this list are genuinely awful people. I'm not going to be going heavily into these detail about exactly what they did but maybe this video isn't for everyone so viewer discretion is advised and um yeah let's get into this So we are starting off the video with everybody's favourite SoundCloud rapper who was exposed, Fetty Fave, also known as Fave for his Roblox YouTube videos. Hey there guys, Fave here. So if you don't know what happened with Fave, basically he started talking to one of his fans, which was a girl, and she was unfortunately underage. And you can imagine how stuff went. I believe pictures were exchanged over Snapchat and um, yeah, a very, very disgusting situation. Of course, Fave 100% deserved to lose his career over that. And he definitely lost it, even though his Roblox account is unbanned. He's no longer able to upload to YouTube. I mean, technically his channel still exists, but nobody respects him. I don't think anybody would watch his videos, or I guess people would only watch him just to leave a negative comment, which is fair enough. I can't really blame him for that. So yeah, Fave. Completely bullied off the internet, I guess, for his awful actions. But his Roblox account remains, and that means we can explore his Roblox games. Let's see. So he's got Stock Market Simulator. I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of boring. I'm just gonna have a quick look. We've got Ultimate at war 2009 maybe a bit old 2010 badge hunt yeah not really that exciting neon rainbow obby okay that's getting a bit better knowing fave he probably would have hidden some creepy disgusting thing inside of this because fave well he was a bit of a weirdo if you guys have ever listened to his soundcloud music yeah he wasn't a nice guy we've got the robux carnival um that looks kind of strange and katana kings i think we should probably play the neon rainbow obby now i don't really know what we're gonna find unfortunately i'm unable to explain explore faves Bloxburg map. I'm sure you guys know what Bloxburg is, right? Welcome to Bloxburg, like the extremely popular Roblox game. It's basically like the Roblox version of The Sims. Well, I've heard rumors, guys, and I've had credible people tell me this is true. I think Casodas, he told me this was a real thing. Fave used to have an inappropriate dungeon in the basement of his Bloxburg house, and he would invite his victims over to that. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but trust me, this is a real thing. I really wish I could explore it, but unfortunately I can't. I don't even even think there's any like screenshots or like video proof that it exists but like I was saying credible Robloxians have told me about this and it sounds so disturbing and creepy I don't know if we're gonna find anything like that today but let's jump into Fave's game anyway oh yeah I should probably say I'm recording this on a random alt account because obviously if I join as shark blocks I might get like the you know the stream snipers join me so I've just made a random alt he's wearing a YouTube t-shirt he's got my shark blocks training card but hopefully this guy doesn't give the game away if anyone joins me although I doubt anyone will because these games are kind of abandoned. But anyway, the Neon Rainbow Obby. You know what? I'm actually expecting to find something a bit creepy in this. Let's go and jump into a game. Okay, here we are joining the game. So everything is in R6. And um, as you can see, I'm here on my secrets account. I'm not going to lie, guys. I really don't like Neon games. Like, uh, I don't know. It just kind of hurts my eyes. It gives me a bit of a headache. Oops, what the hell just killed me? So I'm guessing the floor kills you if you touch it. And then also these like red neon like blood or ketchup stains, whatever it's supposed to be. Oh, for God's sake. How am I failing at Fave's Obby? Come on, this is just stupid. Okay, I'm going to play this seriously now. I'm actually going to try and complete it. So here we go. Stage two. Hopefully the stages are actually working because if they're not, that's going to be a bit infuriating. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I don't like these neon cylinders. They look so blurry. I keep thinking I'm going to like miss it or something. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Stage three. What the heck is that? Is that a guest? God, that looks creepy. This is the mind of Fave, guys. He was a very, very strange guy. What the hell? What am I supposed to do at this point? What? Oh my god. Fave, come on. I know you were like a creep or whatever to that little kid on Snapchat, but you've also made a Roblox game that's just completely terrible. Okay, so 
What is this? This guy did not know anything about making obbies at all, did he? Oh god, I can't believe I'm struggling on Faves obby. Oh, this is just getting stupid. Okay, I think I just found a way to do it. This is super glitchy, right? Watch this. If you step on these bits like really quickly, you sometimes you can just like jump across, but it's so buggy. As you can see, I just died there. Okay, I think I might have figured it out, guys. I think we figured out the messed up mind of Fave. We're gonna try this. It's super, super buggy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what a weird weird way to design an obby. Anyway, so I'm guessing we can try this way. Okay, we might have done it. No, the last one killed me. The last bit could be the middle bit. Hang on, let me try that. So if I go there, there, and then that bit's the middle bit. Oh, okay, guys, we sussed it out. Okay, Fave, yeah, you're not so smart now, are you? So now, oh god. You know what? The Fave was such a weird guy. I could imagine him like just enjoying people failing at his obby. He'd just be sitting on his PC with his like Doritos and Mountain Dew being like, ha ha ha, you guys are failing at my obby. Yeah, you know what? I think we're just gonna call it quits here because this game's clearly just a load of rubbish. Fave is quite a weird sort of like abstract character, I guess you could say. So um, let's go and play Stock Market Simulator. I don't know if I'll be playing two games from all of these people, but Fave's such like an odd guy. Maybe we should check this one out just quickly. The rating on this game is not really that good. Anyway, let's find out why. Did you guys ever notice that when you're watching his videos, he's just got such like a creepy vibe going on. He's just like, I don't know, just some like really really weird sort of creep. Yeah, this game, wait, this is just gambling. How has this got anything to do with the stock market? What, so you just gamble on? Oh my god, no, I'm not paying for that. Come on, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can win some money. How much have we got? Oh, we got $215. Come on, give me the jackpot. Yeah, how is this about allowed on Roblox? Look at the map as well. So it's got some like forest looking map. Maybe that's where Fave buried one of his victims or something. And it's just got some like, um, yeah, how the heck is this like a stock market thing? It's just like Vegas, is isn't it? So I wonder if you can like glitch out the map. That would be pretty cool because I'm not going to lie. This game looks terrible. Nope, we can't glitch up. It's got some invisible barrier or something. Oh my God, look at this. People were actually play. Oh, these guys hacked it, didn't they? Yeah, they definitely hacked it. Okay, that's quite funny. So there you go. If you guys would like to gamble on a weird Predators Roblox game, then go ahead, I guess. Um, Yeah, not so exciting. I don't think we really found anything creepy. So maybe we can try one of the other people. So next up guys, we have Kaneko. I wasn't sure whether to add Kaneko to this video or not, because I know quite a lot of people think he's not really as bad as people, you know, like Fave and stuff. I would say, yeah, I guess you could say that's true. I mean, Kaneko definitely did some terrible things, without a doubt. You know, he should have stuck with people his own age when he was trying to date people and dating people over like Roblox and Discord and things. Yeah, definitely not advised. That is a, such a horrible idea, especially when you're in your 20s. Anyway, we're going to be checking out one of Kaneko's games. I think he only has one game which is open. So the Holy Shrine of Mr. Grey. That sounds interesting. Greyism. What the heck? Well, that's closed, but we do have this Japanese game, which is called Showcase of My Mind. Oh, wow. That aged well, didn't it? So um, yeah, I guess we're going to check this out, guys. I'm not going to lie. This game does look a bit creepy. If I remember correctly, I think this was the game that Kaneko used to feature in some of his really old videos. So maybe it's got some hidden secrets. I don't know, but I guess we're about to find out. Oh my God. This game has like really creepy audio. Hang on. Let let me just turn that down just a little bit. I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. If it's copyrighted, I'll have to edit it out the video. But um, yeah, I might just leave it in. I don't know. So we've got a lantern. We've got a stop sign. What was this game called? Um, Something about Kaneko's mind. A journey into his mind. Okay, so let's see. What's in the mind of Kaneko? So we've got creepy looking water fountains. Oh god, that is a bit horrific actually. So we've got, is that some guy coming out of a wall? Spider webs. Okay interesting. This is more interesting than Fave's one. So we've got some seats stuck on the wall, some cubes everywhere. Oh my god, is this like Kaneko's evil villain headquarters? When like the world's about to end, he'd just like sit here on his sofa, just watch it spinning round and then explode. Got a Kaneko kit and drink as well. Oh, it's a gravity coil hot chocolate. Damn, that looks nice, doesn't it? Nope, do not drink that, you'll go insane. So what else have we got then? I have to admit, Kaneko's put in a bit more effort than Fave has. Even though Fave's games, I guess you could say, did something, this one looks more interesting. Interesting. So it kind of looks like there was supposed to be like a, a cart or something that went through, but maybe it's completely broken. Yeah, I really don't know. So let's go through here anyway. Wow, this is really getting interesting. Oh god, what the hell is happening to this guy? Let's see what he says. Oh, I should have mentioned the places. Uh, I can see that. What? These crystals here are well lit though. So you'll a uh, what? Dark humor, hair. Huh? It's my speciality. Oh yeah, that's definitely Kaneko. He's well into his dark humor, isn't he? Anyway, let's carry on going through this map because I want to see what else there is. So yeah, this is getting a bit creepy. Oh, there's another guy in here as well. So what's 
what's this guy doing? Learning the piano? Game's probably getting boring now, eh? Kind of. No, I'm, I'm kind of liking it, actually. Well, that's one part of the mind. Boredom. Pretty much how I feel playing this place. Eh? It's just to get into the groove things. That was one of Kaneko's sayings, wasn't it? He was like, yeah, guys, you just got to get into the groove of it. So let's carry on going. Oh, okay. Now it's getting creepy. Oh, my God. Kaneko's birthday cake? What the hell? Is it? What was he going to do with this? Was he planning to eat that all by himself? Maybe. But he's going to the gym now, so maybe not. Anyway, let's go up to the roof. So what have we got here? Wow, this game's cool. Yeah, this game's definitely more exciting than Faves one. And also, we get to learn a bit more about Kaneko, you know, seeing as he's now gone off the internet. It's kind of crazy, you know, how like people build up such like an internet presence of like uploading like thousands of videos and uploading pictures and documents and, you know, tweets and things. And then one day it's just all gone. Oh yeah, I really do think this maybe was a cart ride at one point. Even though there's not really much track for it to work on. Okay, so we're going through. Oh my God. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. So Kaneko's got murder on his mind, has he? Looks like he's killed a couple of people. There you go, that's him doing one of his video scripts. Yeah, I wonder who these people are. I've got no idea. Look like classic Robloxians. I can't recognize the characters. And then we've got a prison cell and a treasure chest. Oh God, we're gonna have to open this, aren't we? Oh God, oh God. Wow, that almost scared me, not gonna lie, guys. Who have we got here? Got a statue with a nice linked sword. Got a stop sign and we've got happiness ahead. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. that does not sound good. That sounds very, very disturbing. So, okay, well, let's just see. At least I'm not on my Shark Blocks account. So, you know, if something horrible happens to this account, hey, who cares, right? So, climbing up the ladder. Yeah, this game's got quite like a spooky atmosphere. One thing, though, guys, the music that was playing when I first joined is now completely stopped. I've probably overlaid some of my own creepy audio, you know, just to keep the atmosphere spooky. So, what we've got here, we've got some like um, rooftop garden or something with trees growing upside down. Very, very interesting. Let's see i made this part in memory of my friend she made music play piano to listen depression is real oh god oh wait there was something about that in the game's description like uh rest in peace karen or something okay r.i.p karen i'm guessing that's real i'm guessing that's not like um something he made up so yeah genuine and r.i.p to this person but let's carry on going anyway what's this we've got like vines everywhere or something he does like his stop signs doesn't he okay let's carry on going it's getting a bit creepy now i do wonder if this game was like genuinely supposed to be creepy or just like some art thing. I'm really not sure. And I think, guys, we might be at the end. So, um, yeah, okay, this is definitely the best one i played so far. Especially with, like, the uh, dead people in it and stuff like that. That was pretty cursed. So, there you go. Interesting. Um, I'd say this one was um, actually not bad. So, I guess we can move on to somebody else. So up next, guys, we have the infamous Notive. Yeah, what this guy did was, like, really weird. And I've noticed Notive's actually got quite a few games which is open. Someone called Roblox Videos. That's close. We've got her. Huh? I think the most interesting out of these is probably Notive's World. So we might give that one a try. If you guys don't know what Notive did, uh, they're a similar situation to Fave, really. Basically messaging minors, saying some inappropriate things. Yeah, it's a shame, really. It's a shame this happens to so many people. I think a lot of the YouTubers like this, like, especially, like, the Notive, nerdy sort of YouTubers. You know, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. They definitely need a life outside of Roblox. Anyway, let's check out his game. Why do I have a feeling there's going to be something really disturbing in this? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. One thing I've noticed as well, on all of these guys' games, we've been R6 characters. So what's this? Is this like a face pack? Oh god, that's cursed. Yeah, because this is what he used in his animations, isn't it? God, they are really, really low quality. Oh well, I guess we're going to go with this one because, um, yeah, we're pretty horrified at what Notive did, right? If you're reading this, you're reading this, I guess. So let's see. Notive, are you ho- Oh god, he is. Oh god, he's a Nathrix fan as well. Oh no. And there's a police car. Oh god. This guy just knew what was going to happen, didn't he? Notive, yeah. I'm not surprised, just sad. You shouldn't have been messaging the kids, you know? So it's okay. 7 a.m., I guess. What else have we got in this game? We've got a PSP. We've got a Game Boy Color, and we also have a game of checkers. Okay, let's carry on exploring though, because I'm sure there must be something really weird in this. Wait, I just realized this is like massive Mr. Obvious vibes. Didn't Mr. Obvious have like an identical thing? It was called like Mr. Obvious's World or something like that. What the heck is this? Is that a bonfire? I was expecting that to kill me, but it didn't. It's got like a little hangout, probably for him and his girlfriend. Oh, no, I don't want to say that. Got some arcade games, sword fights on the heights. We've got Pong on the Atari. Love that classic console. Got a lava pit which i'm guessing probably just like kills you or something yep okay i probably should have guessed that we've also got a teleporters so i guess we're gonna teleport into the green uh, huh what did that do wait that's completely pointless it just 
teleport? Oh no, it did actually teleport me somewhere. I thought it bugged out for a bit. So what's this up here? Is this like an obby? We're looking for something creepy. That was the whole idea behind this video. I wanted to play their games and just see if we could find anything, which, you know, just was a bit off. I guess in Kaneko's game, we definitely did with like the dead people and stuff. Yeah, what the heck is this? This game is just kind of pointless. Maybe he made this when he was like really young or something. So um, yeah, what have we got in here? Oh wow, lots of stuff in here. Old screenshots and stuff. I have a feeling this guy was like an old robot fan. That's like the whole vibes this game's giving off. Um, maybe these are screenshots of when he first joined or something, which um, nah, that's like really old. That's like 2006 or something. I doubt he would have joined back then. So um, yeah, interesting. Don't know what those things are. Uh, that looks like a rail gun or something from Halo. Some other game. I've got no idea to be honest. We've got some creepy old abandoned barn. Come on, there must be something spooky in here. In the closet? Nope. Nothing hidden. Kind of reminds me of like a um, egg hunt, like one of the 2013 egg hunts. Maybe that's just because of the trees or something. No Tibbs World. Wow, this just aged like so poorly, didn't it? So I'm guessing this is the red area. And then if we go back to the green one, yeah, that's the spawn. Okay. So what's this over here then? One of No Tibbs Hot Tubs. Yeah, I'm not going to go in there just in case I get some horrible illness. Is that Shrek's toilet hiding behind the trees? There must be something hidden in there. Wait, it actually is. It actually is Shrek's toilet. So let's see. What's in the to- Oh God. No Tibbs pissed in it. Oh God. Get away from that. God, I need some like vaccine now. Honestly guys, I think that might be it for Notive's World. Um, apart from like the little police car thing to um, indicate future events. Jesus Christ. Apart from that, um, I don't really know if there's anything else hidden in here. Maybe we should play another one because um, just like Fave, this guy was also a bit of a weird sort of funny uh, character, wasn't he? So maybe we should play like uh, this game, huh? It says straight out of S and I. I've got no idea what that means. Maybe we should just join this quickly to see what it is. This is either going to be something cool or it's just going to be like absolutely nothing so um it's just like some weird corridor with like a red carpet in yeah what is this i wonder if this was a game he was like built oh god the door just flew off his hinges yeah i wonder if this is something he was building and he just never got around to finishing it it's kind of cool how these are unanchored so you can just push them around the map okay this is looking a bit weird it's like some abandoned office with like some stonehenge looking abandoned thing outside a coffee section god i would not oh i just spilled the coffee sorry no div i would not want to drink that though um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about this, guys. I wonder if I can, like, glitch out a map or something. Let me just try quickly. Is there any way I can, like, glitch through this or anything? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm actually outside. Yeah, what the heck even was this? What was he thinking when he was building this thing? This is so bizarre. It's like the back rooms or something. It's just got some, like, weird vibe about it. I've got no idea what he was trying to do. I genuinely can't think of what this is. Maybe it was, like, a skit for one of his videos or something. Or maybe this is where he sacrificed his victims. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. Yeah, interesting though. I'd say this one's actually a bit more creepy than the last one, just because it's like dead silence and I'm so confused as to what's going on. Okay, we're switching it up a bit. This time it's not a YouTuber. It's a developer or UGC guy. Who to trust? Yeah, if you guys don't know what happened with him, I would recommend Asken Reality's video. Pretty much right, Alaskan pretended to be a 15-year-old furry and he got access to Who to Trust's Discord server. And let's just say, even though he was pretending to be a kid, yeah, it wasn't very kid-friendly inside of the server. It's actually kind of ridiculous they accepted him in. Yeah, the stuff that was going on in that server, absolutely awful. Anyway, Anyway, so um, yeah, surprisingly, Trust still like goes online. He doesn't say anything. I think he's sort of like disappeared from the internet kind of, but he still makes a lot of money. So let's see what games he's got. He's got a business office. He's got some cyber thing. I have to admit, right, out of all of the guys, I think this guy probably would have hidden something really disturbing and creepy in one of his games. Arthur's Vineyard. That could have something disturbing in. Or this one. Yeah, what the heck even is that? Sector F Sage Brush. This guy's got some unusual games. Maybe Maybe we can try... Wait, there's a secret vault room? Okay, yeah, we're trying the business office first. The fact it's got no, like, thumbnail or profile picture just suggests it's a bit strange. So let's go and jump into the game. Whoa, what the heck is going on? I thought there was a problem with my, like, um, shaders plugin or something. But no, it turns out the lighting is just absolutely insane. So, okay, so we've got a lift. Again, it's very, very silent. Pretty creepy. Oh, God, we got some toilets in here. Why are they this color? Oh, God, I'm just expecting to find something just awful and i'm not talking about in the toilet i'm talking about like the entire map <laughs> oh my god this is weird yeah this has definitely got some weird vibe going on oh my god if, is that truss's desk wait how do i get in this room i want to have a look okay we can squeeze through the door just about oh my god it is as well wait so this is like what truss would do on his computer 
So he'd drink his Dr. Pepper. He'd go on Pinewood Builders. That's his desktop. He's got a master's medical degree or something. What the hell? I just picked up something. Oh, I picked up a Back to the Future skateboard. Okay, he's a fan of Back to the Future. Yes, I glitched out the map. Let's go. Oh, I wonder if he was part of that group, Pinewood Builders. Oh, wow, interesting. Um, Well, maybe I shouldn't have glitched out the map this early, but, um, you know, there you go. There's a good view of the map. Any secrets hidden? Can't see anything just yet. Um, Okay, maybe I should just reset and I can um, explore some other stuff. Or we could probably just go back in the building, right? Oh no, maybe not. I think I do actually have to reset one sec. Okay, so um, what else did we have to explore? I think there was some other section. Um, what does that say up there? Keep calm and build on. This map is so incredibly dark. It's like really hard to see anything. I think we're going through here though. We're going through the emergency exit. Let me out. Let me out of Truss's office. I've had enough. Oh, maybe we can go to a new floor. How does this thing even work? I'm so confused. Can't click things or anything. Oh, We've got some games here. Red Dead Redemption and Battlefield 4. Not bad. Not bad games. Okay, yeah. I think I'm kind of stuck, guys, because um, I can't work out how to get to the other section of the building. I mean, if there is one. Um, How on earth? Yeah, so this is the toilets. How on earth would we even get through? Okay, this is weird. Maybe we can check out another game made by him because um, he clearly made a few games. Wait, I'm wearing a hat? Look at this. Where the hell did I get that from? Is that like a red cliff hat thing. God, that's a bit strange, isn't it? So what else did he make then? Um, I guess we could check out maybe that research lab thing looks kind of interesting. Okay, yeah, maybe we can check out this one just quickly. Is this the first game where we're at R15? I think it is. Oh, this game's creepy. It's got some like weird alarm going off. Is this the alarm that sounds when one of Truss's underage furries escapes from their cage or something? God, that's creepy. Okay, so we've got, oh, we've got a subway. Does this actually work? Again, way too bright. This guy's obsessed with neon, isn't he? So this is, okay, we're in sector F. What are we supposed to do then? So this game is probably the best, like, built I've played out of all of them so far. Okay, we can wash our hands. That's always good. Computer's got a blue screen of death. Good luck with trying to fix that. Oh God, it's some of Truss's calculations. So if victim is age nine years old then there's another one age seven years old. oh i can't work that out i'm not mentally ill enough i guess um yeah <laughs> what are we supposed to do is this just like one of those showcase things i'll tell you what guys it looks like a showcase that would have been like cool in like i don't know 2013 or something i've got a bathroom and we've got no reflection vampire confirmed got a to oh god trust has flooded the toilet what has he done in there Ugh, i don't want to know it stinks okay let's get out of here that was horrible oh here's the alarm thing Got another blue screen of death. Jesus, they're not very good at maintaining their computers, are they? Uh, got some... Oh, we've got a vending machine. What drinks can we get? Purple, purple, white, red or blue or yellowish white. Yeah, those drinks are probably like... They've probably been in there for a decade. Um, what else we got? God, this one's kind of... Oh, that's all boarded up. That's a bit creepy. Yeah, this game's interesting to explore. I'm surprised nobody else has done a YouTube video like this because just like exploring games made by like crazy people. I don't know. That's just something interesting. I mean, that interests me anyway. Oh, God. God, something's on fire up here. Okay, this is getting creepy. Oh, don't inhale that. That is definitely toxic. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see. What else have we got to do? So, um, I think it's just a showcase, to be honest, guys. I don't know if there's, like, any objective. Maybe that's everything. Can we go through here? Oh, no, that's the bathroom. We've done that already. All right, there you go. Um, yeah, nothing too creepy, apart from his scientific calculations, which I don't understand. And I guess that's probably it. We can jump off the map. Oh, you can go under it. It doesn't kill you. Oh, God, we're definitely in the background now. So, there we are. Roblox games made by insane infamous players. I do have a few more people on the list, however, this video was getting pretty long, so I thought I'd save it for a part two. If you guys enjoy videos like this that are a bit more, like, professionally edited or whatever, let me know down below in the comments, and yeah, hopefully part two should be coming out fairly soon, if you guys enjoy this one anyway. If you don't, I guess I'll just scrap it, but yeah, thank you for watching. Yes,